local weather with the KX News Storm Team. Where was Warbear Casino Security? Hey, hey y'all, how's, how's the weather? weather? Uh, that is a distinguished group of professionals there, the Forebear Security. Thank you for doing that. Hey, Tom, and the weather since you asked. Tomorrow, another very nice day. Wednesday and Thursday, maybe not as nice. Now, we need the rain, we need the moisture, but uh, tomorrow will be a nice day to be outside. Tonight, mostly 20s overnight. Nice but breezy tomorrow, probably in the low 50s once again, which is actually a couple of degrees above normal. Uh, rain and snow is possible tomorrow night after midnight and then Wednesday and into Thursday, and that will likely change over to just snow on Thursday. And it's going to be breezy for most of the week, and a couple of days it will actually be pretty windy, and we'll get to that in a moment. Looking at some of our KX cams, 30s across western North Dakota, you can see uh, 31 uh, in Botno, 30 in Crosby, and 32 in Watford City, even Sydney, Montana, uh, in the 30s still at uh, 31 degrees. And the wind is roughly 5 to 10 miles an hour, a little bit stronger. It's been just kind of breezy at Selfridge uh, tonight. Now, I've jumped ahead to uh, tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. And an active weather pattern is going to be setting up. No, not tomorrow, because high pressure is still going to be dominating our weather here. But uh, during the day, this cold front's going to sweep south. It'll just change the wind direction a little bit. And notice these lines getting a little close here, so it'll be a little bit breezier in the western part of the state than the east. But the major player is this whole mess off to the west. It is going to turn into a pretty big storm for Canada. Not so much for us. We'll be impacted by it. We'll get some rain. We'll probably get some snow. Uh, southern Canada is going to get a lot more than us, though. So here we are by uh, Wednesday morning at 8 o'clock. And by the time you wake up Wednesday morning, it could easily be raining across much of uh, North Dakota. Maybe a little mixed rain and snow you see showing up there. And that's Wednesday morning. And then during the day, because it could be raining when you wake up, but it'll end. It very well could just shut down. We might even see some sunshine, but we're not done with this particular storm uh, as the low pressure, the center of the storm is going to be off to the east. But if you look up into Canada, there's some snow there. It's called wraparound snow. So as the storm goes by, the circulation is going to be bringing snow back into North Dakota. Now, you might notice something here. See these white lines? These, the, those are the isobars. And uh, really, it's going to be pretty bree breezy, I can tell you that. But I want to show you something here. And it's just a little easier to show it on this one. There's a little trick that only works when the high pressure is off to the west and low to the east. If you reverse them, it doesn't work. But it does this way. So these lines have to be pretty much vertical, and they are. So you count them. One, two, three, four, five. All right? And then you multiply by 10. That gives you a rough idea of what the wind's going to be on Thursday. So it's going to be blustery. It's going to be uh, snowing at times. Fortunately, it's not going to be very heavy. And as of right now, it looks like roughly the heaviest, basically one to three inches. Now, this whole thing could change before Thursday. But at this point, it does not look like a whole lot of snow. Next 72 hours for Dickinson, you can see the temperatures dropping off only to the mid-30s by Thursday. Same thing in Williston. And then for temperatures tonight, should be 20s. Tomorrow, back into the 50s. So another pretty decent day. And looking at the Bismarck seven-day outlook, here it is. And you can see pretty good odds for Tuesday night, Wednesday, and look at those temperatures as it gets a little bit colder. Same thing for Minot, but just get ready for it. And also, coming up later in the week, we should have some wind chills approaching zero at times.